It had rained hard during the night. The engines barely got any sleep. Oh, the noise, groaned Gordon. It's a nightmare, said Percy. Will you both be quiet, said James, who was in a grumpy mood. James, snapped Thomas crossly. James grumbled to himself quietly. If we all just stop talking, maybe we can fall asleep, suggested Thomas. So the next day, the engines went back to work. There was much to be done. The storm had done a bit of damage to the island. A town in the valley had been flooded and the pipes around the village were broken. So a special train full of expert plumbers was ordered. Sir Topham Hatt drove to the sheds at Tidmouth. Gordon and Henry were the last engines left in the sheds. Sir Topham Hatt decided to ask Henry if he would be a really useful engine and pull the special train. Henry accepted. Gordon laughed at him. Plumbers, he laughed. What kind of a special is that? Henry didn't think it was funny at all, but he was beginning to feel a little embarrassed thanks to Gordon's teasing. He left before Gordon could make fun of him again. On his way to the station, Henry stopped at the water tower to fill up on water. The water from the water tower was usually clean, but because of the storm, the pipes were ruined and junk was in the water. Henry had his driver hook up the hose and turn on the tap. Dirty water ran into Henry's tender, and so did the junk. Once Henry's tank was filled, he left. Henry backed down onto the special train for the plumbers. There were many plumbers on the platform boarding the train. Gordon was on the next platform with the express. He laughed and puffed away. Henry felt embarrassed. But the guard blew his whistle and waved his green flag, and Henry puffed away. He rode through the open countryside. Everything seemed so green from the storm. He had a splendid run, but when he was on Gordon's Hill, he felt a pain in his pipes. But he continued on. He puffed over the viaduct. The pain hurt worse. Oh, oh, he cried. The driver was concerned. Henry wasn't making enough steam. He was in much pain. The driver and fireman were worried. After checking everything out, they realized that his pipes were blocked from the junk that was in the water. Henry's crew didn't know what to do. The driver decided to go talk to the plumbers that were aboard the train. So the driver went back to one of the coaches and came back with some plumbers. The plumbers got to work. And soon enough, Henry was feeling much better. Henry then realized that plumbers are really useful. And Gordon was just being rude earlier. He soon reached the village's station. The plumbers got to work helping to fix the pipes in the village. After a long day's work, Henry took them back home. That night, Gordon was trying to make fun of Henry for taking the train of plumbers. Henry told Gordon how the plumbers saved him. They may do some dirty work, said Henry, but they sure get the job done. Next time on Thomas and Friends, Gordon is at it again, 
He still hasn't learned his lesson. But when he has to take a train of fuel, will he finally be put in his place? Find out next time in The New Fuel.